Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Darkest Hour, a mod for Hearts of Iron Form, your host, Mr. Uh, Flagalover. But we gotta talk about Germany recognizing Machuqua before we talk about what else we're doing. Just yesterday, a terribly excited looking Riventrop departed off a German transport plane. Germany's foreign minister had been away in Japan discussing matters with the Manchukuo and Prime Minister Zheng Xiaoyu, as well as the Japanese foreign minister Koki Hirota. This morning, the headline of the morning newspaper revealed Germany officially rec recognizes Manchukuo. Recently, politics have revolved in a friendly matter between the Empire of Japan and the German Reich. It appears that Germans are seeking a potential partnership in the future. Of course, it is too early to determine for sure, but it seems that this recognition of Manchukuo, J J uh, Pan's puppet state imagery, as a German attempt to show friendship. Uh, there's much to wonder about the relationships or relations, but it seems that many countries are pursuing possible alliances in the time of chaos. How are, the, are Germany and Japan seeking a temporary non-aggression pact before they clash, or is there a legitimate cooperation they seek? Only time will tell. Uh, so we got that focus done. Uh, instead of Stahl Pact, we, I just realized that we probably need to go back and redo uh, Heimann Reichs, because I, I basically replayed the mod to basically try to get as much money as possible to store it up. I've got 4,200 cash, dollar bills, whatever it is, even though right now, I mean, we're still kind of low on pretty much everything. We're trying to build as many, 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 many um, millies, uh, civvies as possible to help offset the, uh, you know, lack of money. But uh, it's going to be what it's going to be, I guess. So, I'm going to try to build some refineries as well, because we're going to need some. In the meantime, though, we'll select uh, Hunt and Reich. Military-wise, our military is not as big as it was earlier, you know, from the last episode, because I had to replay this, like I said. Um, go medium now. How much would that put us at? Oh, just over what we need. Great. So, we're going to redo this one again. And we're basically trying to get, try to get Austria under us, in us, something like that. Uh, we read the Stahlpact last time, too. We already did trade the agreements with the USSR. We're barely making that much political power anyways right now. And what you could uh, do, formalize the Berlin Pact. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to redo some other stuff as well and read some comments, too. I, know I might have read this one last time. If you want to read it again, please go ahead. Increase attack power. As well as Bewegungskrieg. So, um, we're not going to go with Panzer Grenadiers, even though that sounds like fun. And mobile support units, kitchen program. We're going to go with Panzer Corps. General Guderian has already envisioned by vision the Panzer Corps, the biggest military unit solely based on Panzers to date before the rearmament of the Wehrmacht has even begun. Now that we've the industrial capacity and capabilities and the approval of the military high command, we can finally bring Guderian's life, vision to life. Soon the first German Panzer Corps will roll, roll over our enemy's lines, but some comments include, I want to see this mod with Germany taking a non historical path. Me too, but it's not quite ready yet. It'll be quite a while before it gets there, so. Um, someone says, when I see a new video from you, I click on it directly. Thank you to all who do that. Um, someone says, I like the concept of this mod, as many games and movies rarely cover this part of history, but in practice, it's just so long and boring, and if you mess it up, it's a four-hour game. Tell me about it. Um, someone says, you should play as America, but go with the Republicans, instead of, like, with FDR and the Democrats, which I actually tried to do FDR, but I kind of screwed that up when this Darkest Hour was, uh, kind of in beta-ish, so. And someone says, America's a really uh, boring country to play, which are not completely wrong, at least at the time of this recording, but we'll see. In just a little bit, hopefully, eventually, with a potential campaign about them. Anti-Jewish violence in Germany, what? Despite the virulent anti-Semitism of Hitler and the Nazi party, Nazi actions against the German Jews have been nonviolent until now. Last night, SA paramilitaries and citizens loyal to the Nazi party attacked synagogues as well as homes and businesses owned by the Jews. Ostensibly carried out in retribution for the assassination of Nazi diplomat Ernst Edward von Rath at the hand of exiled Polish Jew Herschel Grinspan in Paris, a night of terror and violence has resulted in the deaths of nearly 100 Jews across Germany. The name Kristallnacht, or Night of the Broken Glass, refers to the countless shards of broken glass glittered on the streets after the looting, where crowds of bystanders stood in passive observation. Fire departments, rather than attempting to save the building at satellite, and set out to prevent the fires from spreading and allowed hundreds of the homes and synagogues to burn. In contrast, many Germans have opted to help their Jewish neighbors rebuild their homes and businesses. For many in the German Jewish community, the wounds of Kristallnacht, both physical and psychological, may never fully heal. Tragic. Oh well. Panzer Corps. Uh, General Guderian has already envisioned the Panzer Corps, the biggest military unit solely based on Panzer, to be to date before the rearmament of the Wehrmacht has even begun. Now that we have the industrial capabilities and the approval of the military high command, we can finally bring Guderian's vision to life. Soon the first German Panzer Corps will roll over our enemy's lines. As we're doing incorporate the Sudeten Lamb. And uh, we're almost done with the Autobahn finally. And our money is still okay for now. But we're trying to build a Nebelungenwerk. A Nebelungenwerk. 
In order to fund our military ex expeditions, factions produce equipment that our soldiers use to conquer the new territories of the Reich. Some of the most, most essential tools of the war are panzers, and arguably the most effective yet simple of our designs is the Panzer IV. These vehicles form the backbone of the German army shall continue to do so for the rest of their service life. The Allied bombing campaign, however, has taken a toll, having mul multiple factories spread out across the nations and has side effects of no centralized production, and that needs a change. A huge production and industrial complex, spe specially designed to build the Panzer IV, shall be built to accommodate the needs of the Panzer Truppe. It is to be built somewhere isolated and out of the way of the British bombers, and so a location in Austria would be preferable. Luckily, that need has been met to the perfect location near the town of St. Valentine. And so work on the creation, creating this factory shall begin immediately. Totally, yeah. That's because we totally need it. That's why. I'm um, not going to start planning for the invasion of Poland. Totally not. Totally, 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 totally not. Um, as we do that, uh, we still have divisions over here, but they're not even doing anything because we, we got sent to Hainan. And they're just not expanding. And Japan is struggling a lot. But we did send on quite a few planes, so it is getting us a little bit of army XP, or I guess you should, I should say air XP, but we can't see how much we're getting every single day, so. We can send another group if we really want to, nuclear fission discovered. Um, uh, after close to five decades of research on the science of radioactivity, the Reich scientists Otto Hen and Fritz Strassmann have made yet another discovery, or major, major breakthrough, in the name of the Vatalem. The 17th of December was the day when two scientists, venturing into the unknown of radioactive physics, created the first successful chain fission reaction in their Berlin laboratory. While bombarding uranium nucleus with neutrons, they managed to split it into two barium nuclei as well as several neutron particles, sparking a chain reaction. This controlled decay, decay of nucleus resulted in the exponential release of energy, which, with further practice and research, could be harnessed for our own usage. The fear will be pleased to hear this news, as there seems to be a potential to harness the energy of the atom for the creation of a Wunderwaffe of some kind. Only time will tell uh, lies in the future for this new frontier of science. Seems to have potential to be exploited. Air superiority, huh? From those in northern China. And which at this point we probably gotta start pushing out a lot of different things, but uh, probably more attack aircraft. Let's go with fighters. Oh, send them to China too. It's almost 1939, a funny year for everybody. Also, I did make the AI force them to build some air aircraft here, or air bases, I should, I should say, because uh, I kinda get tired of uh, them not doing any. Oh my god. I might have to intervene here. What the heck? What are the Japanese doing? The Japanese might be really weak in this this mod, maybe. I don't know. Because... The, 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 where you're... Japan. Did you make divisions, Japan? You did not make divisions. What the heck, Japan? Bruh. Man, come on. I literally just started re-recording. How do you not have any divisions? I wanted this to be... Uh, well, I guess somewhat historical. Because we're, obviously we're not going to try to lose, but we're the first Vienna Award as well. Happy 1939, though, everybody. It's going to be one heck of a year. Um, actually, what do we have for this? We're still making more divisions, which is very nice. Ooh, 22 might be a bit... No, it's not a bit much. It's actually perfectly exactly where we need them. But let's leave them still no porches, but whatever. Um, so improving our stuff here, which actually yeah, that'd be worth doing as well. Uh, Panzer Corps, and then I think we read last time, at the end of uh, Versailles Diktat. So we have that one. Uh, Secure the North would be nice, but we can't quite do that one. So rule over the Danube. But I think I read this one last time, too. Um, so we're gonna do that again. Please go to head. That's 75 day Okay, so oh my god. And around the Maginot, of course, as well. Oh, Victor Emmanuel III, crown is king of Albanians. All right. Um, for Latin defenses in the world. Okay, uh, around the Maginot. Mm, let's see. The German Reich is destined to be a great nation, a superpower that the entire world fears, but there are some things that Germany cannot achieve at the moment. The French began construction of the Maginot Line in 1930, a so-called impenetrable fortress. Our engineers have studied rough pictures of it. They concluded that an offensive through Alsace Lorraine is not feasible. Therefore, it would be tactically wise to prepare an alternative should we need it going, it going around the Maginot. Our lead military high command will draw plans to launch a surprise offensive through Belgium, as we did in World War One or in the First World War. However, technology has improved, and hopefully we can move in quickly enough for the mechanized divisions to break the front lines quickly. The operation will potentially also include war with Holland, since they may become allied with the British, a risk we cannot take. With our general staff prepared for the sliding offensive, we will send the world, and form the Berlin Pact. In our pursuit to gain back our rifle lands, enemies of Germany have run with their tails between their legs and formed blocks of socialists, reactionaries, and democrats determined to prevent Germany's inevitable rise of power by any means at hand. Other countries similar to ours face the same issue, with these blocks attempting to prevent the rise of the nations too, namely Italy under El Duce Benito Mussolini and Japan under Emperor Hirohito. Both are civilizations worth envying, both are rising nations with a strong spirit, and both are, as we, are hampered by the vain efforts of the democracies. To rebuke the blocks against us, we should do the inevitable creative pact between our nations. If the democracies dare step out of line and attempt to stop us from getting our rightful territories, they should be crushed under the might of the spiritually awakened nations of the New Order, the Berlin Pact. So we have two here, and we're still making stuff here. We're still making more uh, roads in the areas that I know that are not going to be built up by 
Uh, uh, you know, Autobahn, which sucks. Even though I wish it would get continued on. Oh! Oh, look what agent recruitment. Ah, screw it. Anyways. MFO bills would be due eventually. Uh, anything else here? Propaganda efforts, political actions, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, We're gonna need a lot of military factories. So, and a lot of civvies still, because, uh, well, everything costs a lot of money. My god, everything costs so much money. So, once we're done with the Autobahn, I guess we're gonna continue building up that infrastructure, but, uh, I think we're looking okay. Panzer Kampf Wagen 3, uh, be nice. Medium tanks are very good. Can we upgrade them? Yeah, we can, but we're not going to. In the meantime, our armor is looking okay. Light tanks are okay. Let's reduce our dependency on the light tanks a little bit more. We'll go down to one because now we're gonna increase this as well. So I switched from you know panzer light panzers to regular panzers just for more armor. I'm not sure how much piercing the enemy's gonna have. It hurts our reconnaissance a little bit, but you know it is what it is. It gives more more breakthrough, which is great. It's slightly more armor, a little more piercing. So do we have enough uh, tanks for this? We barely have enough. So this should be okay. I don't know, we'll see, but what pisses me off is that China is about to encircle Japan here. What the heck? And the Versailles take that, and we'll probably do... Well, I can't do it right around the Maginot. We can probably start doing some of this stuff here, too, though. SS Verfungungstruppe. Ah, the SS Verfungungstruppe has made wide spread success, despite the heavy descent within the Wehrmacht refusing or regarding the formation of the SSVT. An early demonstration of the combat abilities of radical loyalists show that an armed branch of the SS has its own merits. Now, the Reichsführer SS proposes to expand this into a larger force. A direct descendant of the SSVT, the Waffen SS will be the official combat arm of the Schutzstaffel, and its predecessor dissolved and reorganized. Well, the Waffen SS will be confronted or controlled by the OKW, the Reichsfeuer SS, and the Fuhrer himself. The rapid formation of multiple SS units will proceed should the Fuhrer provide his consent. We can only choose the cream of the crop for soldiers and paramilitary units, ensuring that the Waffen SS remains unquestionably fanatical in their loyalty to the Fuhrer, National Socialism, and the Vaterland. Controversies present around the topic, however, is an, and the OKW has much objection to the SS divisions not under their direct control. The SSVT has already brought plenty of debate, and perhaps making an official branch of the military may be too much. Regardless, we can be certain that the Waffen SS will be achieve will achieve well on the battlefield should we permit its creation. The security of the Reich and our glorious fear depends on Generals it. protest the deployment of the SS dis dispositional troops. Even though the creation of the SS of F the Verfuffungstruppe has only been announced recently. It seems that several journals that they have have already written letters to the Führer himself, protesting against the creation of parallel command structures and the attack against the authority of the OKW, while simultaneously raising concern of the growing rivalry between the SS and the Wehrmacht. While well, the journals in question have so far refrained from taking action against the creation of the Verfuffungstruppe, mostly due to their respect for the fear of the la letter, hints that several generals would consider immediate retirement should a certain line be crossed. Despite the situation itself not being a serious matter yet, the fear is still aware that a decision has to be made to show both the SS and the OKW where the appropriate direction will be in the near future. Announces the new party line. Uh, we can either try to play in the generals by promising that no new SS formations will be set up, or we can remind the generals of the boundaries, showing that any fear to your objection to the fears orders will simply not be tolerated. These generals' fears remain only will remain the only of its kind. All future plans will be stopped. Remind the generals of the boundaries. Well, should stop Alexis. Performers Wehrmacht doesn't really like us that much. Um, it's very low influence, low opinion too. Uh, that's not good. How do we raise influence? Because there's, there's no weekly change right now. Because we're currently doing Rule of the Danube, but I do want to also do uh, Algamon SS and the Waffen SS too. So, Unlike the Waffen SS, the Algamon SS has a non combative administrative arm of the Schutzstaffel delegating itself as a civilian force. However, to make no mistake, it shouldn't be underestimated as a minor wing in the SS. The Algamon SS oversees the internal security of the Reich, purging dissent from within and silencing opposition through whatever means necessary, the, through its secret police, the Gestapo, along with internal security, it also protects the Reich from external threats such as espionage through the Sicherheitsdienst, the Reich's main intelligence agency, with a limited power, the blessing of Big Daddy Adolf, along with a limited oversight. The Algamon SS is a powerful organization, even powerful when underestimated by its adversaries. But, we got some more stuff to do here too. Um... Danzig of War, of course. Danzig is a small piece of land of most, but it's, it's everything. Uh, this single piece of territory owned by the Polish has divided our fatherland in half, and it's a bitter reminder of the decadent of Versailles that has brought us suffering and discontent to all Germans throughout the world. This single piece of uh, one of the cornerstones in our struggle for Lebensraum, and as such, it is of paramount importance to us to ensure it's safe and a speedy reclamation back to its home. We will use all available means, including war, regardless of the Western means. It's high time that we show the world the true might of the German war machine, a machine that's been cultivated secretly so the world can see its wrath while in terror. Nice. We just straight up annex it. Pretty good. And uh, a direct descendant of the SS 
Dispositional troops. The Waffen SS is the official combat arm of the Schutzwaffe, while its predecessor dissolved and reorganized to meet the changing landscape of the warfare in Europe. The Waffen SS, unlike the SS dispositional troops, are controlled by both the OKW and the Reichsführer and the Führer himself. Also comprised of foreign legionnaires, citizens from outside the Reich's nominal borders, but loyal to our cause, of course, we only choose the cream of the crop from these foreigners, as security of the Reich and its cause depends on it. We are, after all, the tip of the spear, the apex of a soldier in the Reich, which is its most important leaders, especially for our glorious Führer, depending on the success of, on the battlefield, armed the camp guards. Totenkopf, uh, Verband der Division will be deployed in Berlin and prepare the Ordnungspolizei for occupation duty. When removed, the SS Ordnungspolizei Division will be deployed in Berlin. And the divisions that spawned are right here. We will be the garrison divisions under Han Jörg Hans Reinhardt. Um, look at the composition. It's 12 combat with a lot of small arms. Uh, led by Oberst Pahauser. Uh, we have a motorized division, SS Standard, 6 combat with. Not very good. And then SS Division, just a generic 18 combat with, which is not bad. 18 combat with is okay. That's better than that one, but... I'm not going to use them on the front lines. They'll be kind of behind duty right now, but it is what it is. Uh, what else do we have here? Denzigar War. I think it's just Denzigar War. That's the other one we have. Recruitment the Kingdom of Italy. Regional integration. Uh, economic policy. We do that one. That costs a lot of money. And that money that we need to save up. But we're done with this, which is very, very nice. We should be able to move in just very easily when we do attack the Polish. But we're still ruling with the Danube, just in case. And we're building some uh, radar, stuff like that. Ooh, we're going to need some fighters. We're, we're trained. We deployed all of our planes here, too, at this point. Um, obviously not enough. It's never enough, because we'd also think about, you know, our uh, economy, too, for now. So, fighters, uh, I'll have these fighters deploy here, train, but I want them over the seas and North Germany, the Rhineland, and whatnot, too, so. We will see. Fighters get over here, too. I don't know if that would be enough. I kind of doubt it. Um, give me another thing of fighters. We have plenty of cast. At least we should. Oh, that was, I thought that was in the Netherlands. It looks like it is, but, you know. 0.47 political power single day. Uh, I've, I've had to use cons commands to make sure that uh, these guys don't completely die. Yeah, Japan, I don't know. It's, it's looking a bit strange. They're not going to. They got encircled. Bruh. Uh, see what you can do about that, you know. <coughs> That's looking so bad. Manchuko looks like he has more divisions than, than Japan. I don't understand. Refineries, infrastructure, all that good stuff. Uh, maybe some more dockyards, maybe? Let's fill it up to the max. Mecklenburg, because right now we do have a few three subs, and even though we have a surface fleet of a carrier with max out 80 planes, three battleships, a battle cruiser, 14 light cruisers, and uh, seven destroyers. So, but we are almost ready for the war. It looks like the Fall of Nanjing warring. All right, well that's what our ally wants. So, interception, our war officer to trains, probably not. Ah, Totenkopf is 18 combat, with, not bad. And like I said, they're, they're just in garrison duty for now. And bullet side division is also a combat. Panay incident. If you're worried about that, please go ahead. A powder kid waiting to explode. Cool. Opel Blitz. Yes. Artillery probably would be good next. It's a little bit ahead of time. Rocket artillery and tier would be nice. Support companies we still need to finish here. Uh, we still have bonuses we have to unlock for 1939. Intelligence game from combat? Sure, why not? I like intelligence game from combat. I'm not sure if it's helpful at all or not, but intelligence sounds smart. Oh, we got more than enough of this. Good. Need more fighters. Need more attack aircraft, too. Medium tanks are okay. We have plenty of light planes. Uh, torpedo bombers looking okay as well. So, is, there, is this immediately? So, 10 days before. So, it's like August 20th. We'll like, click on this. We just straight up annex them. We get Denzel to war. Or maybe not. We'll see. What is this? Denzel to war. Oh. Um, other than that... Definitely doing okay. Machine and Pistola, pretty good, pretty good. Special Forces, 1939. Uh, we, do our, we are using you on the front line. We did make some Marines, though, just in case we want to do a sea line. Um, also, like as someone said from the comp before, uh, this is a historical one. Are you going to lose this Germany? I'm going to try to not to. I honestly have no idea what the best template is. They just said historical uh, template is the best, so I'm kind of going that issue, even though I have edited it a little bit. Um, I did throw on some more support companies like anti-air, artillery, and anti-tank, just in case. We have field hospitals, we've got engineers, pretty much the basics of whatever we need, so... We'll see, I don't know. Because this, guys, this is the main front on the front line. Uh, you guys are just kind of all over the place. You're the main tanks that'll go blister everybody. You're holding against the French, hopefully. Um, you guys are holding up here. You guys are the Marines that we made, which are actually 14 combat with, which we do need to expand a little bit more. Um... As long as we have space for them. I'm not sure if 18 combat with is 
the right one to do, I, I really have no idea. Um, Anti-tank, engineers would be good, pioneer companies. Uh, recon, cavalry recon. Uh, probably, probably, we'll probably need that for marines. Initiative probably sounds pretty good for these guys too. Or out. So, we'll see. What are we missing? Interceptors. Oh. Ruler of the Danube. Algamine SS, yes. 21 days. Um, around the match, you know, I'd like to do that. Two blood transfusions. Oh, nice. Um, reconnaissance. More defense. Move, river movement. Protection. Defense. Entrenchment. I love it. You guys go and train. That's fine. Put you all over the place, just in case. Um, we have more soldiers here. We can put them all there. Come. Mechanics bag. I don't know. Just cover the victory points, I guess. I hope there's enough divisions to hold the line here. I and mean, we should have... Yeah, we're level 4-4, four so that's pretty decent. And we did a bit up some anti-air here as well. Japanese victory, Kalk and Gol. The bear looks swoon. It's cool. How did, they, how did they win? Japan is so bad right now. We're the only thing here holding this. That's so bad. Oh, what do we have? Increased trade? What is that? Oh! Ruler of the Danube since the beginning of the history. The Balkans have always been contested by different uh, empires seeking to expand and consolidate their influence there, with these civilizations ranging from the ancient Greeks, Ottomans, and the German Habsburg dynasty. Now that our government is on a direct confrontation course with both the British and the Soviets, we must seek to be one step ahead of them and finally secure the Balkans for ourselves, finally cementing Germanic rule in the region. Either through diplomacy or conquest, we will secure both vital resources, such as the Romanian oil fields and potential allies among the nationalist movements of both countries, of, such as Yugoslavia. Expand ties. trade. Ah, I'll spend all the money. Why not? Buff and SS, nothing else there. Um, invite Hungary to the Tripartite Pact. We have 13% influence. Alright, this point, let's stop training. And let's assign our planes to who they should really go to. Fighters, you guys are... Oh god, we got nobody. Oh, we did not make enough fighters. Oh, good lord. Um, intercept... Whoever comes here, intercept whoever comes to the Rhineland. Um, yeah, he, oh, I forgot about these guys. Go home and repair, go home and repair, it's fine. It gives us a couple days still, we're not completely done here yet. Denmark, this is Germany. That's good enough for now. Um, interceptors, I don't like using interceptors, honestly. What are you? Click cast, that's good. Quite a few planes over here. Tactical bombers, cast, 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 cast fighters. There you go. The tanks can have you, and you guys are all cast. Everyone gets a little bit of cast. I really wish I made more cast now. I wish I made more planes, but you, there's never enough. <coughs> well, and we're running out of space here too, so. There you go, do your best. It's 12th, air superiority, mission efficiency. I'm going to do that anyway, whatever. So help us out with stability, but whatever. So after that one, it says Führungshauptamt. Ah. Sisha, a Reichs Sisha Heights Amt. More opera slots, that's very cool. Waffen SS. Well, we're going to be at war very soon, so we need to plan economy very soon, too. Um, I haven't done a lot of stuff over here either. 40 day focus is not bad. Description methods, not bad. Uh, Dunitz Ubu fleet. I should have done this one earlier, but Carl, Ad Admiral Carl Dunitz has a new revolutionary plan for the Kriegsmarine. He says we should concentrate on naval industry and U boats to counter the Allies' growing naval superiority. We would target the main routes in the Mid Atlantic, the East Coast of the U.S., and the British Isles, majorly disrupting the Allied war effort. His plan does make sense, since one battleship costs 100 U boats, as he says, since we can't match Allies on the surface. Instead of guns and armor, we'll fight them with mines and torpedoes. Um, yeah, we don't have enough here. We just really don't. Reich, uh, Reichsicherheitsamt. The protector of the Reich, both at home and abroad, is uh, the Reichsicherheitshauptamt, or the Reich Main Security Office houses all intelligence agencies and internal security forces of the SS. Governed directly by the Reichsfeuer SS, the Reich Main Security Office's sole objective is the security of the Reich, both internally and externally as such. It is comprised of a variety of tasks, from simple administrative and legal work of the SS, to foreign intelligence services, and suppression of both foreign culture and dissent. 
It's most infamous shot in see the Gestapo. It's highly regarded in its efforts to suppress and purge dissent, disappearances of prominent opposition leaders, and the extermination of undesirables within the Other Reich itself. And just in case, oh, well, just in, yeah, we'll just go ahead and save. Because soon enough we won't have any ac very much access to rubber and whatnot, but... Oh well, it looks like these guys are not really ready for war. Then again, they are Poland. Um, and these guys, I want them to go just slice this off as much as possible. You guys are going to hold as best you can. You guys are going to... Uh, actually, you're just going to break out. Um, you guys are going to hold. You guys are going to hang out, I guess, up there. Uh, but let's do it. Dan's going to war. Ten days left. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I feel like Hitler now. No. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, we're still putting some uh, fuel capacity stuff. More fuel, 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 fuel. Of course, we're not training our ships anymore, so that's actually really nice. Or training our planes, even though they're already on uh, their mission efficiency stuff. Uh, definitely going to need you. Come over here. We'll see. We do have our agents here, and once the war breaks out, we we'll don't want to forget to use our description. Embargo by the US of A. Hello. Oh, hey, how you doing? Thanks, man. Hey, we're doing the Autobahn. As soon as Poland refuses to cede to Danzig. Look at that! It worked out! Despite our attempts to allow Poland to hand over the uh, Danzig region peacefully, uh, even vowing to give up our claims on other German territories in exchange, we've been met with a refusal, as we expected. The world gives us nothing to us that uh, we do not seize by force. They very know what the alternative is, so we go to war with Poland, Danzig, cl claims, they get more war support for the Allies, and uh, here we go. We're going to Wehrmacht, uh, propaganda, green high, shoot stuffle, Wehrmacht is low, sucks. Um, wow, that's a lot of enemies. Um, in the meantime, let us cut off, oh, we're actually doing okay here. We actually have enough rubber, look at that. Yo, know, Poland refuses German ultimatum. Considering the demands, it seemed inevitable. The Republic of Poland would be forced to cede Danzig to Germany, and a, a Polish plenipotentiary would be sent to Berlin to negotiate for the terms. Ignis uh, Musicki pointed to the German Reich's recent actions when stating that it was obvious Pol Germany would not be satisfied with the Danzig alone. German and Polish forces are prepared for war, and a report's already coming in clashes on the border. Once again, there's war in Europe. Then it is war. We actually have enough? Oh, we, but we need, we need fuel. And who do we get fuel from? Hopefully the Soviets. Where are the tanks up to? Ah. Uh, MFO Bells is gone. That's fine. We've actually got a lot of these guys done already. Let's go in. Oh, they're actually attacking us on the French border, too. Look at that. I didn't even realize that. Hope these guys are strong enough to hold out. Uh, they look like they generally are. It's kind of like real life. The French tried to come in a little bit, and then they retreated, I think. Could be wrong. Not bad. I'm not going to call anyone else in, though. Just us. Just us. Ah. You know what? We don't need you there. Where are we at with this? Nissen? Ah, under the Panzer, yes! Oh, well, unless we go to Lutz. Oh, one second. How many divisions do they have right now? The Allies, the Poles. The French Republic lost 27,000 already, wow. Um, Poland's lost quite a few guys. They have 30 divisions max. Are you all going in? Oh, okay. Um, ready to go to the front, I guess. And head on in. We're still making money, though. 65, 66, nice. Um, Orexgal, Danzig, Vespars. After the Great War, Danzig became a free city uh, under international mandate. Whereas the surrounding land was granted to Poland. This land has been predominantly German, and by reinstating Danzig Westpreußen as an administrative unit of the Reich, its nationality can be guaranteed. Oreksgau Vaterland. The new Oreksgau will be made up of the last parts of Poland in the region under by Lutz. By attracting and resettling Germans from Eastern and Southeast Europe, we can strive towards full Germanization of the, uh, the, the Vata Basin. Heck yeah. Ah, Reichs Commissariats. I love the Reichs Commissariats. Ooh, war bonds. Screw it, we'll do war bonds too. We women in the workforce. We might have to do that. Oh, Lex Verteidigung. Uh, Unlike the previous German government that failed to make a name for themselves on the international stage, ours will reign victorious over mainland Europe, with conquered regions to show for it. 
The night of the sky of German, uh, Norway, all the way down to the magnificent mountains of in the Alps, to the Atlantic Ocean, off the coast of France, all the way up to the Volga River and the throes of Akhangels, and possibly even beyond, will be within our entire and absolute grasp. May it also be that if we cross continents, our foes will finally understand our complete military strength at the end of the foolish democratic regime to the west and the barbaric Bolsheviks to the east approaches. Our newly founded Rex Commissariat will be further to use to consolidate our holdings and simplify our governing, paving the way for living space policy as we empower our dramatic peoples within our conquered territories. We'll cleanse it as of those we deem undesirable by any means necessary, and our own will flood in by the millions, taking what was not only rightfully intended to be ours, but ours once again. Although we are destined to fulfill our destiny, the security and overall protection of these territories must be prioritized if we keep our gains. If we fail to do so, disastrous consequences will follow in the world of this old returns. We must do everything possible to prevent this from happening. Cool. On top, on scop of flow. Oh, at least five attack subs. Well, oh, crap. Uh, the Craig's Marine bolstered in strength and turned significantly. Not really. Um, it is time to deliver a crippling blow to the Royal Navy in the British War, for it is a hold from which they will never be able to recover. Weak dockyard security measures and a Royal Navy compl complacent to stay in port make this seemingly insane attack a tactical, tactically sound and completely unexpected maneuver. Should the fear approve, a major attack carried out by all not available Kyrgyz main forces will be delivered against the British fleet stationed at the Scapa Flow. This operation definitely presents a serious risk, but it should succeed. We'll be able to end this war at last, the British will be finished, and we may be able to finally launch Sea Lion. Merely a concept right now, but this attack goes successfully as a serious possibility, that is. If the British government is, hasn't already accepted terms of surrender, the KW knows this is a risk, but it's a risk worth taking nonetheless. Should we be successful, the war will be over by Christmas. Alright, well, tide to Tide to The enemies arrived on German soil. The walls of the fortress Europe have fallen, and it falls closing in the heart of the Reich. Well, the front of the. In a state of rapid disintegration, the army is in dire need of men and material. We must focus our efforts on getting as many bodies and rifles to the front as possible. The part of the Wehrmacht High Command have come up with several proposals, ranging from the resourceful to the desperate. Deployment of rear echelon of troops to combat zones, conscription of the elderly, the young, and the infirm, and the suicide attacks are fast becoming our grim reality. Uh, none deny the cost will be high, few deny that it is necessary, but the question how much pondered upon, pondered but left unspoken, is it well, enough? Re deploy reserve armories. I don't need to do any of this. Mobile's Algamon SS. Um, we need to be getting ready to surrender here for all this stuff. This one we just have to be at war. I don't want to do that yet. Need more fighters. Jäger not program. Special Angriff Abfangjäger. That's cool. Todo Einsatz Missionen. Mobile's Reich's Labor Service. Mobile's Luftwaffe Field Units. Mobile's Kriegsmarine Field Units. That's cool. Oh, war operations. With the years of preparation and strife, the world once more will face our nation and all the glory it has to offer. Shall it be like the first one, it'll mean our complete and utter destruction as our economy simply cannot handle such an ordeal. We have enemies from both the east and the west, and it'll be now where we all once again ensure the role that we stay on top and it's indeed a rightful place. With careful planning, and our modernized and speed-reliant tactics has been tried and tested within our own lands, our militarized youth. Our youth military has the security of our own influence, along with the combined efforts of our air power, the fate of our enemies are sealed with the operations now ready to be implemented abroad. What do you mean, Ada? Oh, that's Egypt. Hercules. Ooh, Malta. That's cool. What can we do those? Sense of war. Okay. Orient. Felix. Tannenbaum. Icarus. That's cool. Uh, Iceland. Uh, sea Love. Fogrun. Actually, can we do this one? Oh. Fogrun. Which is not bad. Falrot. Which we will do eventually. Um, division organization, or initiative and organization, Gelb, yes. On to name in Nord. And the Waffen SS, like normal. So I apologize for the delay in just the war against the Poles, but. Bagwas, oh, that's not good, Sweden. So we have 300 versus 100, 500 versus some odd number, so. Oh, we're doing really well, though. Ah, soldiers are back. Welcome back, Castle Ring. Um, oh, crap, they actually took a piece of German territory. Oh, no wonder that thing spawned. Here, get back over here. Your lost a saw broken. You are not allowed to lose. You are going to force defense no matter what. Search for radar, huh? Uh, my bad. Didn't mean to lose that piece of territory. Happens. As soon as they leave, well, I guess we'll just try to go back in. Oh, we'll go right there then. Actually, that's 1%. What else can we do then? Gal Oberschlissen. Eastern Silesia was lost to Poland after the World War, even though the publicity showed that a majority of her voted to remain with Germany. <coughs> um, 
This lost region is once again incorporated in the Upper Silesia, adding also the Olza Gebiet, a historical part of Silesia proper. By selling Volksdeutsch in the area through the Heim in Reich program, it will prove to be a valuable asset in the New Reich. Of course. Acquire Polish assets. With the uh, Polish nation destroyed, its resources being put under occupation, it has become time for us to enjoy our spoils and to salvage the remaining Polish industry so it may serve our war economy. To accomplish this, we'll give the representatives of the Reichswehr uh, Hemingoring free reign to seize any assets they deem as valuable for the war economy from the previous owners and integrate them into the Reichswehr. With priority assets being armament factories, mines, and other heavy industries. So, when are they dying? Oh god, this is a giant, bigger mess than I thought it would be. My bad. My bad. Hey, the tanks are here. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Didn't mean to do it like this. Happens. I need you to force it. Come on. Oh, Paul Vice is a success. Poland's gone. Native Hitler. As announced, the cowardly Polish nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. The Polish government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. The main forces have capitulated, and the German Reich has now controlled the whole area. Though the war against the, what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for the German Reich. Good news, and Paul Vice is a success. This is a disaster for us. We've lost 10,000, unfortunately. We've killed off how many of the French? 87,000? Uh, one. Operational ob ob overview. Paul Weiss, with the culmination of the ambitions of the German people to unite with their brothers and sisters in Danzig, Poles and in the rest of the eastern territories has succeeded. In the spirit of Einbog, Unreich, and Führer, the Germans who have suffered and live under the abominable country of Poland have finally been reunited with the Vatalem, too. Notable events, as soon as the further Führer relayed the orders, the Luftwaffe commences airstrikes along with the hail, which utilized massive artillery bombardments all across the front line. The Polish responses are delayed and even non-existent in some regions, so supported by panzers and thunderous artillery barrages, our infantry units rapidly moving into the Polish hinterland with relative ease. From the very initial stages, the inability of the Polish army was evident, which desperately sent out suicidal cavalry charges to face our mighty steel beasts, resulting in very easy victories. In fact, our divisions would often be over would overrun the still mobilizing and unarmed Polish reservists. Close coordination between the Hay and the Luftwaffe ensured overwhelming operational superiority, with their troops encircling and destroying large Polish formations with relative ease. After several key victories, our armies were soon able to enter Warsaw. Three final conclusions. In the aftermath of the campaign, the effectiveness of the traditional the uh, the Nichtungsgedanke has once again been superbly demonstrated by the army and was decisive in the success of the campaign. The campaign also highlighted the importance of air ground coordination with the Luftwaffe often assisting the Hayes advances by neutralizing the occasional Polish strong point. Now we move on to Paris. So you guys are done. You guys are going to help defend against uh, Luxembourg, which actually just worked out really nicely. You guys are going to come down to uh, well, I guess you guys, whatever. And then you guys are going to come down to Belgium. The tank should. Oh, we did make an instrument here. Good. Well, that's two more French divisions going to go bye bye. Respect the agreement. Yes. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'll leave them over here just in case. Good job. Did they actually break over here too? Oh my god. I did not put enough divisions on this on the quarter. I swear I'm not trying to be that historical. Um what else do we have here? Ah, General Government Poland. Beautiful. Uh, anything else? Not yet. Political actions, propaganda. Relations. Ah! I love it. Hans Frank. Civil oppression. I love civil oppression. It's my bad, y'all. They love attacking, though. They are very, very aggressive. My good lord. That's a case. You guys are just sitting over there, doing nothing. Uh, come over here. It's good. Just join that. Let's hold for now. They really want this territory. How many? We've killed up 152,000 Frenchies. Now, obviously, losing ground to these guys is not good, but uh. They're expending a god-awful amount of resources. Who knew the French were so aggressive? And even though we weren't successful everywhere, it is what it is. You know what? Of course it depends. I'm tired of you losing. 
We'll use the tanks to get these territories back. No worries. There you go. My god. I mean, they can always retreat into their little bases. But still, Jesus Christ. We got it back, nice. No, we don't need him right now. But, this would be nice too. Infantry organization, planning speed, yes, as much as I want this one. Get more tank organization, even though it's not very much, it's still very nice. Good. So I'm going to actually move you guys out, and we're going to reclaim this too. Um, I do want to do that one, but we've got other things to do around the Maginot. <clears throat> I should have done earlier, which is good. And then Danzig as well, and whatnot. Carrier organization, very good, very good, very good. My god! It's not very historical. But whatever. Wait, do they do we lose this? No. We just lost this time. It's four divisions max. I mean, honestly, like, if they want to keep attacking, it makes defense much easier for us. We also, that's why I put anti air on these guys. Oh my god. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough planes. Um, Andorra, maybe. These guys are done. These guys, maybe. I don't know. Who actually? You guys. There's a little bit of uh, things going on there, but that's okay. I'm gonna start uh, doing this too. Mm. There's nowhere else we can really do it, because we're gonna take that over later too, so I guess double up in Paris, I guess. How are we looking for in terms of everything else besides planes? Planes are god awful right now, I know. We need more military factories, way more. Uh, we're still making 45, so we're going to really double down on military factories then. Uh, medium tanks are okay. They're not great. They're decent for now. 5 and go up to 10 and 12 or more. Um, where are we at for this? Over taxation, I know, whatever. Export focused. We might go to limited exports. You know what? Go to limited exports. We'll be fine. Uh, Turkey, yes. Portuguese Republic, no. Slovak Republic, yes. Very good, so good. And just keep working on those military factories. My god, we need them. Hello! Conclusia. Ambusher, max entrenchment. That's only five. Recon bonus and entrenchment. Uh, max entrenchment is really nice, but... Ooh, I'd rather do that one. We're already pretty decent on defense, even though I screwed up just a little bit. What is this? A oh, partial mobilization? We probably should go to war economy. We'll lose even more political power, but then again, are we losing any? No. Um, yeah. Factory up plus. Yeah, we could go to total mobilization, but we don't have to yet. Warmonger. Eh, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit, man. I was send an overdrive that I lose this tile, probably. <coughs> can they pierce us? That's my question. Yes. God dang it. Oh, well, no, they can't. Good, good. Now we have to send the tanks out of here and get ready to invade this way. It would be great. This little hump here I want to take out and just drive to the sea if we can. Network management is nice. It's almost 1939. Uh, or 1940, I should say. Uh, that is good. Get more defense. Why not? He's learning a lot. We've killed off over a quarter million Frenchies. 100 divisions, maybe. Uh, they're mobilizing more, unfortunately. But stockpile wise, how's infantry equipment? Anniversary of the Bihal Putsch. Today, 16 years ago, the decadent government of the Weimar Republic imprisoned and shed the blood of the members of the NSDAP as they try to seize power and save and lead the German people to greatness. Now, since the rise of power, the fear has made a celebratory annual ritual addressing the old guard of the party before performing a reenactment of the march down the street of Munich. The guests have arrived alongside a massive crowd, and the fear has already had a word with loyal followers. Let's make it short and simple. Uh oh. How could this have happened? Assassination attempt on Hitler. Berlin Moscow access. That'd be kind of cool. Secure the north, though. And they'll form as a bill, in fact. With the neutrality of the Scandinavian countries have so far been beneficial for us, the threat of the British intervention in Norway is becoming a great risk for the continuation of our uh, iron ore shipments from Sweden, which could damage our war efforts greatly. This great risk warrants immediate action, causing the OKW to develop Operation Vesa Obum, a multi stage plan which, in order to be one step ahead of the British, will see us occupy. Excuse me, the northern countries. So, Karen's Scandinavia force cells will also bring in the, our Nordic brothers back into Ger Germania's fold. That'd be nice. Very nice. Does this expire? No, it is not. Awesome. We're ready. 
Because, well, the French are so, like, so freaking focused down here. We should do okay. Anything else here? Expand ties. Uh, we don't have that much money. I want more influence, though. Total command of the economy. Oh, hello. Oh, guarantee oil from Romania. Southern Dobruja, question. A Southern Dobruja shall stay in Romanian hands. Southern Dobruja is right. Well, oh, god dang it. I don't know which one is this. I think I'm going to go with give him Southern Dobruja. We're going to carve up uh, these guys. Oh, whoops. Oh, 8% of the kingdom. Oh, see, they got it. See? No, we're good. We don't need to do that. So then, Dobruja become Bulgarian. A dangerous move. Oh, we'll see. Fuel's looking very good right now, though, even though we're not really using our navy too much, too. Um, and Marine, get the Marines done, too. Uh, since we're here, another sub, good. Honestly, at this point, let's see what we can do here. And do we have any status on the naval bombers right now? Naval bombers, no. Which means we need to make, um, we're going to make at least four more, well, if we have any space. One, two, three, four more military factories at all times right now because, my god, we need naval bombers. We've got tactical bombers, we've got tanks, we've got assault aircraft, ba carry base fighters, artillery, because we only need to take out. Uh... Oh, we need to research them more, too. Oh, god. More people. I kind of love how much they're just killing our, their own men. I, I kind of love it, not going to lie. We've killed off a third of a million of them already. We've taken how many casualties? 31,000. Secure so the north is nice. Atlantic Wall, maybe. But we're not there yet. Uh, formalize the Berlin Pact. Okay, okay, yeah, keep attacking. Level five, great. I love the army XP. Jesus Christ, look at how bad they are. I mean, there's no way I'm actually try to assault this area here, but like, Brosifs, Brosifs. Oh, they're out of a lot of stuff. Oh, they're out of. Oh, they're out of arms too. That is beautiful. Yep, time to go. And you're gonna force attack that way too. You're not gonna attack there. Uh, you guys are still like suffering from supply issues maybe up here? That's not good. I do not want a single supply issue, no matter what. I should put one of on this side too. Oh, what are you attacking there? That's not good. Uh, let's go through here now. Send economic aid. Falgelb. Oh, caught on Allah, Allah's whatever. So now war with these guys too? No faction. Oh, well, it's not gonna stay that way for very long. Um, Ada Hercules Falgelb. Okay, so Yellow's official code name is signed by the Wehrmacht in the invasion of the Benelux area, consisting of Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg as a preliminary invasion for an invasion of France. The plan drafted by the OKW calls for a massive attack along the entire front, focused mainly on the overwhelming the enemy defensive lines through speed and superior support attacks by Fallschirmjägers, after which the main thrust will be directed through Belgium to isolate the Netherlands and enforce a capitulation. Following this maneuver, our force will swing south and destroy the rest of the Belgian army while also starting the preparations for the attack on France. As a safety measure, the fear is also approved. The threat of terror bombing should the governments of the Netherlands and Belgium try to delay the capitulation of their forces. The OKW is extremely optimistic that the Wehrmacht will be able to reach all strategic objectives within a reasonable time scale with minimal casualties. More speed, uh, attacking speed divisions, and attack bonus. Just a tiny bit, but we don't forget all this, even though we probably don't need these parts too badly. Go, 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 go. As we're trying to attack down there, okay, you're a bit suicidal, and while we love the fanaticism, oh, the tick stop we're gonna get, god dang it. That goes Luxembourg! Beautiful. Parlons. At this point here, just you all are on the same front, so. Yeah, we made a segment of uh, the soldiers. Nice. Go! Go with a capital G! Hello, another sub, yes, please. Hit the rack, yes. Hedgehogs. Beautiful. Should go back and protections, yes. Oh, the Panzers have almost reached and encircled them. Nice. Ah, so good. Now we're going to launch attacks here, but I'd like to. 
Bathing us. Uh, is there anything else? What the fuck? Also, Great Depression looking. It's just here. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, wartime economic recovery. Oh, yeah, we can. Um, sure. Unemployment. There's going to be no unemployment here. Attack on Scabble Flow Base. Well, let's save. Because that would be one heck of a thing to do. Attack Scapple Flow, and then while we're trying to destroy France at the same time. That sounds really cool. War measures, emergency factory construction. Oh! Deploy reserve stuff. Nah, we're good. Anything up here? No, 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 no. Embargo by the Swiss Confederation and Bolivia of all nations. Okay, whatever. Get to Brussels. More breakthrough and organization. Ooh, I want that, but spread HQs. Spearhead HQs. Brussels is ours. Antwerp must fall, though. Look at our allies there. Things are getting exhausted. Is Antwerp ours? Yes, they are. Great victory for the Axis powers. Oh, there goes Finland too. There go the Dutch! League of Nations expels the USSR. Well, there you go. Well, it wasn't good while it lasted either. I love how they're just sitting there. Well, Gelb is a success. Ah, uh, follow Gale, the plan for the invasion of the Middle Balance was a complete a success as army groups A and B separated much of the enemy forces in the north, allowing them to be easily defeated by combined forces of the Hand of the We can now move on to execute other plans to bring down the hegemony that our enemies have brought upon the world. Notable events. Uh, one of our group of forces drove through the Ardennes, overwhelmed the enemy divisions, and pushed them back, while on the southern flank, our forces advanced without any complications. The northern flank was a similar story, as our forces are also pushed forward without facing considerable resistance. After re reaching the River Meuse, however, where was where the officers began to deviate from the plan. Instead of it waiting for support, they forged ahead and made for the English Channel. This turned out to be a good decision, as they managed to catch up the defenders and overwhelm them with a superior firepower at their disposal in three. The strength of a Wehrmacht has come surprising to no one but our enemies, which bodes well for our future, as it is now a distinct possibility that we will soon be able to impose a will upon the countries that send our way. One step closer to a new order. I love it. Fall rot. Our case red as the current plan for the invasion of France drafted by the OKW is a follow-up to fall Gal the invasion of the Benelux. The plan calls for an encirclement of the Allied forces in Belgium, and in the France to the Channel Coast where the men they will then be destroyed by irregular units. This encirclement will be achieved through a massive attack on the Ardennes spearheaded by armored divisions. After the destruction of the Allied forces in Belgium and northern France, they will use the momentum of our forces to swing south and overwhelm the remaining defenders, while also occupying the key cities such as Paris simultaneously. Some more force will turn eastward and circle the French forces on the Maginot Line, preventing them from a counterattack. Once this encirclement has been achieved, we'll then begin to cautiously attack the Maginot Line, destroying the encircled forces, which should force the French army to surrender once and for all. Some generals of the OKW are worried about the vulnerability of our spearhead and the potential casualties in the attack on the Maginot Line, but most generals are confident in a victory. More organization, issue of coordination? Sure. Uh, German occupation of the Netherlands, yes. As the rock expands, it becomes necessary to form local civilian governments and conquer territories in order to ensure peace and stability. Uh, one such administrative um, administration is the Reichskommissar Niederlande. Uh, the civilian government uh, for occupied Dutch territories, the Dutch have long been regarded to be closely related to us. Their culture and history are intricately linked to the Reichs, and many of the customs originated in German origin. As a result, the Dutch have been decided to be treated with dignity and brotherhood. Direct absorption of these regions into the Reich, however, will be extremely difficult in these times of war. Even if we ignore Dutch opposition, the expenses of integration will be larger than we can currently afford as a result. Rather than imposing a harsh military dictatorship aimed to crush the opposition, the decision was made to placate the Dutch people and win them over to the National Socialist way of thought through peaceful management. This uh, civilian government is poised to take control of the region and its presence is likely to boost Dutch cooperation with the rule. Above all, it's expected to prepare the Dutch for direct absorption of the Reich and to pave the way for the du Germanization of the region. It's enough for now. Gaata Sekos Inquart, huh? Rex Commissar, Autocratic Charmer. The entire Dutch lands belong to the Reich. Good. So good. Oh, are we fighting through the. Oh, did they have, oh, they have forts here too. Level 2 forts, that's not good. Did they actually have forts here historically? Huh. Good. Can you get to Abbeville? Abbeville? Oh, yes you can! Even though at least it's very exposed. We are literally having a Dunkirk here right now. Literally a Dunkirk. 
Just do not let them leave. Oh, but we got Dunkirk first. Beautiful. Oh, uh, German occupation of Belgium. With the invasion of Belgium, the time has come to establish a military government in order to adequately control the local populace and maintain the region from under the Reich's control. Wow, we're just racing. We got Paris! Belgium has a long history of animosity towards us. Their foolish strategy of pursuing total neutrality has brought them into direct conflict with us, most notably during World War I. At the end of the war, they even dared to seize German territory of Eupen Maledi, or Malmedy. Of course, we've already taken back the region into our direct control. The Belgians are more like the northern French in comparison to us. As a result, it has been established that administering these regions through a simple military government will be practical. This will help us better manage the region's economy while also dramatically lowering labor expenditures. The Belgians are unlikely to put up a fight. They do not have a well-organized resistance network, according to our sources. In any scenario, the military administration is expected to thoroughly clean up any signs of non-compliance. Uh, Alexander von Falkenhausen resigned generalissimo. Beautiful. We are just we are literally just going through the town. Okay, by the town I mean France. Bargo by Kingdom of Yugoslavia, huh? Not for now, uh, leave no man in there. Beautiful. Oh, there's six divisions here. Wow, that's a lot of divisions, man. <coughs> Suppose we don't have air superiority. Yeah, we don't. They've got a lot of planes. God dang it. We're still making those military factors, though. We've lost, uh, we're gonna lose about 100,000 probably, to a, over half a million. That is so good. I don't wanna lose, uh, we could attack, but that's very suicidal. I don't wanna attack yet. Happy 1940, everybody. The tanks have just done an insane job, as they really should. How much more do we need to capitulate these guys, god dang it? Why do we capitulate them so much? Historically, don't we just need to, like, Get Paris, and that was it. Alright, I don't want the tanks to die too much, so. Attacking here is going to be crazy, but whatever. Or we could wait and stop the attack. Yeah, let's, let's wait first. We should hold. Just get to your point of positions. Some guy's head, huh? This is making literally no sense. Oh, it is in the war too, huh? Oh, why are the Italians so bad? Uh. Expand the naval Lungen Becker. Um, it has woven wonders in a tank development and manufacturing, creating the largest Panzer IV factory in the Iraq has paid off, and as well as Panzer Truppen has been well supplied with the vehicles produced at the naval Lungen Becker. The attrition on the battlefield grows worse and worse. The only way to med mediate this development is to expand on the naval Lungen Becker, to allow the production of the armored vehicles there to grow exponentially beyond what can be achieved at its current level. As we currently produce Panzer IVs as well as manufacturing, we also have Krupp Grossen Becker. Another expansion could possibly allow us to start assembly of the new type of tanks created by Krupp. Increasing the size of the naval lungen back is a necessary step in the right direction of our armed force and for the Wehrmacht as a whole. Why not? Oh, I'm sorry, but like these guys should have capitulated already. Like, bruh. Go in. Get to here. Get to here. This makes no sense. They sh these guys should have literally already capitulated. Get them in there, too. Do 
No, I want you to go here. Go there. There you go. There you go. Come on, but munch done. Nice. Karantan? Very good. Ah. Yeah, this should have definitely already capitulated by now. I just don't understand this. The barnacles? St. Heller, huh? Come on. There we go. Get the tanks on there first and then we'll start an attack. Ah, there's the navy there. Look at that. Go. Everyone go. Um... Oh, we should have done this one earlier. My bad. That's my fault. I should have done that one. Oh, uh, what else? This one we can do too. Oh, we could also do this one as well. Uh, Kriegs... Uh, Kriegswirtschaft. Through our various programs of rapid rearmament and the resulting exponential growth, the military industry of the country now forms a large part of the economy, which would be undoubtedly helpful for inflicting defeat upon the Western democracies and conquer our rival territories of the East. To make use of the full military factories, maximize... Oh, oopsie, my bad. <coughs> Italy joins the path. Our production capabilities so we can ensure victory. We'll have to make the necessary adjustments by establishing a war economy or Kriegwirtschaft. They join the pact as well. You're gonna force the attack and kill them all off this way. One way or another, they all have to die. Good. For the impact. Nice. Taking all across the front here, which doesn't make any sense why we would have to, but whatever. For the impact. Rest. I don't know why you're attacking there. Why are you attacking there? I don't know. You have nothing up here. You literally have nothing up here. What are you doing? You two, stop. Get help. <laughs> Good. Break over that there river if you can. Happy February 11th. This is taking way too long. Yeah, I don't know. Might need a slight rework, maybe. France might need it. Everything can be solved with a little bit of money. There you go. This really makes no sense. Why is it taking so long to get rid of these guys? It makes no god dang sense. We got more naval bombers, which is nice. Uh, we might need more infantry, don't we? Huh. He's flat promoted. That's so stupid. I'm sorry, but no. With that little... I mean, I don't care what about air superiority at all. That's why we have, you know, naval bombers and whatnot. Um, any other interior? Yeah. The Bordeaux. Bro, come on.
Alright, we'll go this way then. Let me guys go right there. Oh, hello, what the heck? Triumph in France. That, uh, this needs, the VPs need to be reworked, and all honesty, they really need to be reworked. Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice, and our diplomats have prepared terms which they've agreed to. We'll retain control of the southern France. We'll free to occupy the rest. Yeah, I need, VPs need to be reworked a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Um, so, there we go. German Reich, French state, led by Frida Pétain. Invite Bulgaria to the tripartite pact. Felix, huh? Ada, Hercules. What else we got around here? Second like Vienna Award, Economic Policy, Issue Currency, uh, Formal Nation. Oh! Through so destiny to claim every lost bastion of the German nation. Only then will German people be truly united as one as we, in the face of our enemies. Gross Deutsch is right. Well, I don't know if we really deserve that yet. War Sports okay. We need more uh, stability, though. But, uh, do we have anything else to talk about? Oh, pimp my Reich as German Reich to reclaim the Gross Deutsch's Reich. Uh, Tsar Bulgaria joins the tripartite pact. Oh. And the second armistice, a compagnie. An armistice between the Gross Deutsches Reich and the Fr French Third Republic has been signed at Compagnie, in a very railway carriage, in the very railway carriage in which the German surrender in World War I was negotiated. Under the terms of that armistice, a French government under the base out of Vichy will continue to administer most of the southern France, while the rest of the country falls under a German occupation zone. Some French officers have vowed to continue resistance from abroad, but this puts an effective end to the fighting in France, at least for the time being, which means we're going to end the episode right there. At least we took them out. Before May, you know, now it's going to become a little bit more ahistorical. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll see what else we can do with the Gross Deutsches Reich, and maybe pull off the sea line. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.